Hey guys, Jerry here. Let me be the first to congratulate you on taking the initiative of building and managing your own Facebook ad campaigns so that you're able to generate more leads and sales for your business. Look, I've been in your shoes. I know what it's like to either have built campaigns that have failed or maybe be uh, producing campaigns for the very first time. It doesn't matter. I've, I've, I've built those campaigns, I've seen those frustrations, and I've learned a process that you're going to be able to take and apply them. Now, I've done this for over a decade uh, for uh, companies and clients ranging from building multi-million dollar companies to building my own lead generation companies to consulting hundreds of others. And from this uh, experience, I understand that there's a lot of frustration. A lot of you probably um, are feeling, you know, especially the ones that have, have built campaigns before and, and maybe, um, you know, you didn't see success. There's a lot of reasons, especially, you know, if they've run for less than, you know, a month or two. Um, but what we want to do in this campaign is make that process as easy as we can in order for you to go through really this painful period, which is, is going to happen one way or another, that we're going to have to work through in a systematic and easy follow uh, process so that you're able to then replicate and do this over and over again. It doesn't matter which product or, or, or vertical that you're in. I mean, widget, in my opinion, is a widget. So, um, you know, a, when you look at a product, there's the most of two important things that you can do is uh, address the target audience and their pain point. And when those two match up together, you have a really winning combination, of a winning campaign that's going to produce a solid CPA, which CPA stands for cost per acquisition. In this CPA instance, we're referring to the lead. So let's say that we have a lead that uh, we generate for, say, $2.50, okay, $2.50 US. Well, <clears throat> when, we, when we start running our campaigns and we know that campaigns uh, produce this over time, we then can, can dial our campaigns and our budgets accordingly so that we're able to produce a rather systematic approach to uh, 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 generating those leads to come into our business that we're going to mature them through our sales and funnels and, and other things that obviously your digital uh, business would have. So in this course, we really are going to break down how we focus on building the right ad campaign that's going to target the pain points that our target audience that we have to then focus on and build, focus on and, and solves for them. And when we do that, especially, and, and I'll be the first to admit, rarely do you get it uh, right the first time. And, and, I'm, and, and in fact, I had a client that, you know, a couple months ago say, hey, you know, when you build a campaign, it just doesn't, you know, I've run it for 48 hours and, and nothing's happened, what do I do? Uh, and it's, uh, the answer is it's not running long enough. And you've got to be able to take what happens with the data and translate that back into either yes, no, what works, what doesn't. And you'll be surprised at the ways that you go through to read the data, how it's going to lead you to results that's going to produce a, a positive ROI, which ROI stands for return on investment, in order for your company to grow uh, and use Facebook ads as a channel to promote your business. Now, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, I could just use Facebook ads to, um, you know, just to do some, uh, you know, uh, post on my feeds and, you know, public post and grow my channels that way. And, you know, people are just going to discover me and like me and uh, share my content all over the place. And it's just going to go viral. I'm going to hit a million people in a month. And, and it's great. And, and it'd be great if you could do that. I mean, uh, you know, it'd be great if anybody could do anything like that. So that's not realistic. And what we have to do is we have to say that really the organic reach, in my opinion, for social channels like Facebook, it's really, it's an all-time low. You're just not going to be discovered through all the noise out there. And it really kind of goes back to probably things that I've done and things that digital marketers have done. And, uh, you know, it probably leads into another course, but that's creating multiple Facebook uh, pages uh, that are, um, you know, like basically dark accounts related back to the money site so that we can go discover audiences for really cheap and then be able to uh, uh, retarget them to our product that we've already introduced them to at a few key times. Um, so 
uh, you know, the idea of growing organically, I think, is really done in, 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 in a lot of regards. I mean, certainly you can use strategies to go and post in groups. I don't. I'm strictly focusing this on paid advertising. And in this instance, with our paid ads, we're going to break it down to every different element. We're going to look at the headline, the ad text, the images, and we're going to look at how we can combine these and go through this iteration process so that you're able to then find a campaign that's going to be profitable for you. So throughout this course, you need to pay attention and also look at uh, look at ways that you can take the example and and do and, and, and replicate that for yourself. Uh, do the homework. You know, practice makes perfect. And you know, the more that you do it, you know, it's just a matter of practice. That's it. I mean, if we all sat around, you know, well, not all of us, but you'd have a higher probability if you start at a young age hitting golf balls like Tiger Woods did and, and build on it from there. But for the purpose of this course, look at everything and practice it as we go through the lesson and then apply it to your campaigns. Uh, certainly look forward to uh, the next courses and introducing you to the fundamentals and then working you through the different uh, ways that we build and optimize campaigns. And that's really where we, we have a lot of fun. Um, and that's where I have all my fun. Uh, is in optimizing campaigns and, and it's, it's looking at our data and saying what works, what doesn't. And it doesn't matter what works, in my opinion, you know, it just matters, as long, you know, does it work? And going through the process that I'm going to show, that's going to give you the confidence to be able to do it, that, you know, these same things yourself so that you're able to go through this process and say, hey, it's okay, this, this you know, Though I didn't achieve this, to, you know, now I learned this. So let's approach every lesson as that. Let's look, approach every, you know, result, whether it's success or failure, as what is the lesson that I'm going to get and how can we use this to improve on and make it better.